Click, 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 clack, clack, clack. Everybody loves typewriter text. Today, we are going to make a typewriter in Webflow with GSAP, making bacon, making backpacks. It's going to be great. Let's get to it. I have a Webflow project set up here. Over on the left, we've just got a bunch of wrappers, nothing too crazy. We get to flex center here, have my heading, and then I have a wrapper that's going to wrap all of the stuff in our animation. So all the magic is going to happen in here. I haven't done anything fancy yet, except set this to flex box, horizontal align to center with a little padding, and chucked some text in there with a write margin of two rem. So let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? First thing I want to do is make a cursor. So I'm going to put this in there, and I'm just going to make an underscore. I want it to have the same class. I actually don't want it to have this. Uh, let me give it margin right, too. There. That's looking nice. And I'll give this an ID of cursor. Go ahead and publish this. And now in my code, I first want to define the words that I'm going to animate. Those are going to be in an array called words. So that's my words array. Let me see if I can give you a little bit more there. We're going to say GSAP, not WebGL sampler. We're going to say GSAP. Come on now. Sometimes autocomplete kills. Two. And we're going to target an uh, element with an ID of cursor. And we're going to pass an object. We want the cursor to blink. So the main thing that's happening there is the opacity is going to 0. Now we want it to go back to 1, and we want it to repeat. So we're going to say repeat negative 1. I'm going to save that right now. Let's get the rest of the project set up. I'm in the GSAP installation page. I'm going to want the main GSAP core. I'm also going to want this text plugin, which is free. So let's go ahead and copy that. Come back to Webflow. Come into our home page settings. Scroll down to the bottom before the closing body tag. Copy paste both of those. Come back to Code Sandbox. Over here, I'm going to get this address. Oops, back to Webflow. Going to open up a script tag. And load my script. So let's save that. And I'm going to publish again. Let's open that up. All right, we've got a cursor blinking, but it doesn't look very good. So another property we're going to add to this two object is a yo-yo effect. And that's going to be true. So that'll that'll drive the opacity to 0 and then back to 1. And so let's make sure that works now. Refresh. And now we have something that looks much better. I'm also going to set the duration to 1 and the ease to, let's say, power two dot in out. Save that. Make it so you can see everything that's going on. All right, we got a blinking cursor. That duration is definitely too long, let's say 0 0.5. Excellent. OK, now we're going to define a timeline. So we'll say let timeline master equal gsap dot timeline and this is going to repeat so we set repeat negative one that means it just repeats a whole bunch and now we're going to go through our words array up here and we're going to go through each word and add that to our timeline i'll show you how we do that so for each we're going to loop through each one and when we run that function we get a word so we'll let Timeline text, we're going to set a new timeline here, gsap.timeline. One repeat, yo yo is true. And actually, I'm not going to show you that yet. And we're going to say timeline text dot two. And we're going to target something with an ID of animated text. 
Uh, I'm gonna make it look like that actually. Let me copy that and back in our Webflow project. We actually need to animate some text in there so we don't have a place to put that. So this is a little funny. This is some text inside of Divlock. I'm just gonna get rid of all that text. I'm gonna give it that ID of animated text and I'm going to give it a class of that same text which is the same as this underscore in this here. Go ahead and publish that again. Back to our code. So we're selecting that element with the ID of animated text. And we're gonna set some properties. We'll say duration one and text will be word. This is where that plugin comes into play right here is passing that text property. And then to the master timeline, we're just gonna add these each of these timelines. Save that, come back, refresh. And now we've made a typewriter. Isn't that fantastic? Something you could do is add a little repeat delay here of one second, we'll save that. And then once it's finished typing, it'll give it a nice pause. Delete, come back. Little pause, come back. All right, I'll make this all available if you look in the description below. Uh, there'll be all the resources you need to make this happen on your own and to do it fast. Uh, as well, if you liked this, please like and subscribe to the video. It helps me a lot.